Hello, this is KJ Lee with Crochet Basics, and in this episode, uh, it's, uh, I guess, my annual Baby Alive outfit. <laughs> it seems that way. It seems like I do one a year, so, uh, since I started doing them on these, uh, videos and such. So, anyway, with that being said, we're making, uh, this cute little romper. So, I like this one. It came out really cute. And it also fits, if it's regular size, uh, Baby Alive, the hard hair one, the regular size, not the one with the electronics. And there's a smaller Baby Alive now that has, a, it's like a sip and sit and sip or some kind of something. Um, but the body is actually a little smaller than the regular Baby Alive. So, and this romper actually also fits um, the smaller Baby Cabbage Patch Kids. That works out too. Okay, so what you need for this one, I'm going in in a uh, US size H8, uh, a five point millimeter hook, and I've got two different color acrylics. So I got, um, I got Red Heart with Love, and I have, uh, and it's in lettuce is the color, and then I have a Red Heart Super Saver uh, Petal Pink or something like that. All right, so what I'm going to do the bottom in green. So whatever color your bottom is going to be is what you're going to start in. Okay, you also need a, a scissor is always great. A yarn needle is great uh, for weaving in. And also you can use it to sew on the button. And, um, and you need a button. A toggle button will do you. One with the loop in the back. And a smaller one for this, uh, for this video is what you need smaller um, button. So if you do a slip knot, I don't start that way. Oh, what else do you need? No, I think that's it. Maybe a needle and thread if uh, that's how you want to sew your button on. But other than that, uh, you don't really need any of that. Um, if you start in a slip knot, I do not. So uh, I do a little crossover on my hook. Oh, if you're new to me, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you do the Baby Lives, I do have several Baby Alive patterns up there. And also links to um, Crafty Conjuring, who does sewing projects and little wardrobe things and such for the Baby Alives also. Okay, so links below, all that good stuff. So with that being said, we're going to chain 44. All right, so 44 chains. You'll skip that first chain closest to the hook and you will work back in a single crochet for row one.
So you'll chain one and turn your work. And you're going to work back both sides of the braid. So from row two to row nine, one single crochet, uh, each stitch per row, and it should be 43 stitches per row. Okay, so um, you can pause here if you're going to work it along with me, or, um, you know, come back and all that, all right? So I'm going to work mine, and I will meet you for row 10. Alright, so I just finished row 9. So what you're going to do here is you're going to overlap your piece, the short sides, by 5 stitches on each side. I'm sorry about the nails. I still have uh, the remnants of the poison ivy. So, I'm trying to, it's all dried out, but better to keep it covered and not get my nails done just yet. All right, so you can count one, two, three, four, five. All right, and that's on both pieces. So you'll chain one and you'll go through both pieces for five stitches. So uh, five single crochets. So from here, you'll continue working the row until you get to your end. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So from here you'll slip stitch into your first uh, chain made from the previous row. And chain one. Chain one, turn work, and work uh, one more row around. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
and you should have 37 stitches for that row. All right, and we're going to slip stitch. Now we're going to attach the bottom. Okay, so after you finish that row, after you finish um, row 11, you'll pull a tail and cut off. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you can pull your tail, you can thread this on a yarn needle. So let's close that up first before we go any further so that we can work the top freely without uh, worrying about that. So a yarn needle, a tapestry needle, you want a needle. Tapestry needles work great. They have long eyes so you can always squish down the yarn and make it fit through. So from here, you'll take your piece, you'll fold it in half. All right, and you'll count four stitches across to sew together. Okay? I have a wicked shadow right here. I don't know. I'm trying a new lighting, but... Ah, story of my life. So three to four stitches, you know, closed up. So they should be pretty even. If you get them in the center, you get it right, they'll be even, the legs. If they're, you know, if they're off an inch, uh, not an inch, <laughs> a stitch, okay? We'll uh, finagle. Uh, you might have to finagle, or we do, you know, either or. All right. So, but that's the bottom of the piece where the legs go through. So you can wait to weave in or, you know, weave in now, not a, you know, whatever you prefer. All right. I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, now on top we're going to attach and we're, go we're not going in through, uh, you're going to go in through the bottom of the stitches, not the chain. So if you're going to do a color change, if you're going to do it in a different color, uh, you could change your color now. All right, so I did mine. Uh, the first one I did was tan and uh, off-white, not white-white, but off-white, and a, a buff color. All right. So you'll attach in the corner of the inside piece. And you're, you're going in where your stitches are. So let me see if I can show you what I mean. All right. So here's your stitch. So you're not going through uh, just the chain. You're going in um, underneath where the chain overlaps. All right. And with that being said, you're going to lose a stitch. So you'll end up with 42 uh, stitches. So leave a tail on this, a little tail. Not ridiculous or anything, but leave a tail. We're going to use that tail later on uh, to put our button in place actually and um, let's go from here so uh, attaching overlap working on the bottom of the stitches so you'll chain one you'll attach you'll chain one and you'll go right back in okay so you'll pick up one single crochet in each where your stitches are
So I come up with 42. Because I didn't count that chain one as a stitch. So I come up with 42. Top row one. So you'll chain one and turn your work. <clears throat> so you're going to do one single crochet. Ooh. Uh, have your button ready to make sure that your button will fit through. Okay, so have your button ready to make sure that your button fits through. So from here I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to skip two stitches on my, my base here. And that's going to be, uh, this is my buttonhole, my buttonhole. I think I say words that have double T's, uh, weird. Button, cotton, I think I pronounce them weird. I don't, I don't know. Must be my, my New York accent here. All right, but you want to make sure, and I know, you know what, and I wouldn't even notice it if I wasn't doing these videos that I, that I think I say it weird. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> you want to make sure that your button's going to fit through and that you're good to go on that, all right? So if you need to chain an extra or something to make your button fit, but I am going with these smaller little toggle buttons, especially because it is thick with the um, acrylic yarn that we're going through. All right, so you're gonna continue working in the single crochet. Uh, you'll work, you'll skip two, you'll chain two, skip two on the base, and then work in the single crochet. So I think it's 38 stitches is what I wrote down. Remaining 38 stitches. Okay, so then you'll work in your remaining 38 stitches uh, is hopefully correct, because that's what I wrote down. Okay, so now for, for top row three, for row three of the top, we're going to start dropping some stitches here. So in the first one, you're going to crochet the first two stitches together, and then you'll work one single crochet in the next six stitches. And you'll crochet the next two together after that. And then you'll repeat that again. Uh, let me see. One, two, three. Three, three more times. Hmm. I wrote the pattern funny. I'm sorry. Okay, so we'll do another six single crochets. And crochet the next two together. And we'll crochet the next six stitches and then crochet two together. And the next six. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to repeat that for the row with the dropping every 7th um, and 8th stitch, crocheting them together. What I did, I'm sorry, because I wrote my pattern. I wrote the whole line uh, thing out, but 
I got confused. Okay, so then you're going to crochet in your last five stitches and then one, two single crochets. So two single crochets in your chain space and one single crochet in the last. So I, I'm sorry, I'm confused and I hope I didn't confuse you. I hope I say this line right. Chain one, turn work. Okay, and that's the top row three, <laughs> which is very confusing and I'm very sorry. Okay, so now we're on to uh, row four. So in row four, one single crochet in each stitch, chain one, one single crochet in each stitch for row four. And this is row four of the top rows. So your bottom and that's your top. So you'll chain one and turn your work. So you should have 37 stitches for that row, for row four of the top. Okay, so now for row five of the top, we're going to start, um, we're going to do a bunch of decreases. So for the first three, for the first two stitches together, the next two stitches together, and then the next two stitches together. So we're dropping three stitches right off the bat. Okay, then one single crochet. It should be the next 24 stitches. We're gonna work around until we get to the other side and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drop more stitches. Okay, so that's 24. For the next, uh, the next two stitches, we're doing tog. So for the next two stitches, we're doing tog. So that's two. The next two is together, and then the last two are together, and we're dropping. So chain one. Turn your work. Okay, so from here we're going to start working the straps. So for here, you'll chain one, turn your work, and you'll work one single crochet in the first four stitches. You'll chain one and turn your work. And you're going to work this for 13 rows. So the straps are 13 rows long for single crochets across. All right, so I'm going to work this one, and then I'll, I'll meet you back and work the next one with you. So you can pause here. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you do try and make it, you know. Let me know. If you have other dolls, that sounds silly, right? If you have, uh, you know, other types of dolls that you're looking for patterns for, let me know below. Um, and I'll see what I can do. See if I can accommodate and all that. 
because I do have other, um, you know, I have a cabbage patch. What do I have? I have a journey doll. Whatever I got from my nieces, you know. Whatever they play with is kind of what I got. So I do have several, uh, you know, baby alives, but I mainly just focus on the, um, the Bailey, if that's her name, or if that's just what my niece called her. <laughs> but it's just easier that way, you know, because there's so many, there's uh, several different body types for the baby alives with the electronics and such. So now I just hit row 13. So for row 14, we're going to attach. All right. So you could turn your piece inside out. And you're going to count eight stitches over. From uh, your first stitch, the first unworked stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to go in there. Get my tail out of the way. Sorry. All right. So you'll line it up. And you might want to check, you know, check your piece. Make sure, um, you know, because we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you want to make sure that you're, you're lined up good. And then you can just uh, slip stitch this one together. Okay. So one to both sides of the pieces. Two. Three. And four. Okay. So before you cut off, Just make sure that it looks right, that it's it's closer to the middle, right? Because over here, let's see, let me count, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's my four. So that's my four. So here's five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now here's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I crochet one, two, three, four. So that'll be where that goes. So it'll be skipped one stitch in between and that'll go there when we attach the second strap. So just make sure it looks right to you before you cut off because um, it could be off. Okay. So from here, where's my pink? Okay, so from here I'm gonna pull a tail for weaving in, and I'll probably do a couple of more rows, uh, not rows, stitches while I'm weaving in. I'll probably do a couple of stitches around where I just attached, just to uh, reinforce that I like to reinforce things when I'm crocheting. Um, it's my jam. All right, so but from here, you'll attach in the front, Okay, four stitches over, four stitches over, and you'll attach with a, uh, a chain one, is what I usually do, right? Just to pull through, I'm an easy peasy girl. So we'll pull through, a chain one, go back in, the chain one is not counting as a stitch, and then four. So one, two, three, four, that's your first stitch made. For your strap, chain one, turn your work. So then you'll work uh, 12 more because it's a total of um, 13 uh, strap marks. What? <laughs> strap stitches. Rows. Strap rows. Sorry. Strap rows. All right. Okay. So that is my 13 for this um, strap, for this side of the strap. All right, so I'm going to flip inside out. 
Oh, pulled out my chain. Okay, so you'll count uh, the eight stitches over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you'll count four stitches over from that from that eighth stitch. And you'll attach going through both sides. I thought I wasn't picking it up right. All right. One. Two. Three. Okay. Really wish my nails were done, but whatever. All right, so this is what this looks like. All right, so now make sure that you have the eight on both sides because if you don't, it'll be uneven. All right, I say all right a lot. I guess that's my new thing, saying all right. So from here, you'll sew your button on. You'll snip off. Uh, we got a whole bunch of weaving in to do, but you know, not too terrible, I don't think. Um, okay. Now, where am I? Okay, so now your button's gonna go over here. So now a little trick is using the tail, the starting tail, to sew the button on. If your button eye is uh, big enough, the loop, where you can get the needle through it, then you can get the yarn through it. Okay, so what you can do, or what I'll show you what I'm going to do, and go from there. Okay, so see how, you know what threw me off on this one, uh, my chicken scratch writing, <laughs> that's for starters, and when I did the first one, the, this side was in front, so I think that threw me off, I accidentally did it backwards, not really backwards, but you know. All right, so but from here you see where your button loop is. So you want to, and this is your starting ch uh, tail. So if you just weave it in a little bit to where your button is gonna be, just so that the placement is is uh, correct, you know, because it it isn't right there. You have a whole row, you know, in there. So you want it up to the second row. So this is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna sew my little button on here using my tail and a tapestry needle. And a few, um, a few times through should do it, you know, and then you can cut off, weave in and cut off and stuff. All right, so uh, you'll see what it looks like on the doll and fi finishing touches. You know, my my pictures beforehand and afterhand and all that kind of thing. So you'll weave in all your ends. And I was able to fit this on a one of those smaller Cabbage Patch Kids. Not the, um, the I don't know if they call them Cabbage Patch Babies or whatever they are. They're, they're a little bit smaller than the regular size Cabbage Patches. Full sized. Um, and I guess that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you make it, give it a thumbs up. I have other patterns for Baby Alive, um, ballerina, bathing suit, sun hat, 
um, diaper, dresses, and stuff like that. If you want to see outfits for other dolls, uh, you know, Journey dolls, I got uh, Wishy Weller, I think I have, somebody gave me. I have more baby lives, different size baby lives, you know. So if you're looking for more, you know, different outfits for different dolls, let me know. If I can, if I can accommodate, I will, you know, if I can come up with something, definitely, no doubt. All right. And um, as always, happy hooking because it keeps you off the streets and keeps you out of trouble. Um, please subscribe. I'm here. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I do have a website up, but I think I'm taking it down because it's not really doing very much of anything at this time. And uh, I'm on Insta, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. And um, thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, happy hooking. And I will be back real soon with my next tutorial. And, um, and that's it, I guess. So, uh, Crochet Basics with K. Jolie. And uh, Baby Alive Romper. Have a super great day. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.